Remember that day when we all went looking for mushrooms? I never went looking for mushrooms. Yeah, that day when we had such a great time, and then we went swimming in the lake. Now I remember. That was an awesome day. Another day that was really fun was when we thought there was a lion hidden in the bushes, but it ended up being Alfred snoring. ground and a precious little turtle was born. That was really fun playing mother to that little turtle for a little while. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! a leg! And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, Look how careful. fast it moves! Don't step on it! Oh. Oh. to her. Her mommy came to get her and they left together. Well, I remember the first day I met Alfreda. She was so pretty. You fell in love with her right away. <laughs> I would say it was love at first sight. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me. And I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. For me, a really special day was when nobody paid attention to me and I thought you all forgot about my birthday and then found out that you all planned a big surprise for me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Milo. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> What's all this? <laughs> I thought that you all had forgotten about my birthday. <laughs> I'm so happy that I almost feel like crying. Happy birthday, Milo. Here is my present. And this one is mine, a cake for everybody. And this is my gift. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, Milo. Thank you all for making this the best birthday of my life. Now everyone, time Yay! to celebrate! Yay! 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 <laughs> and helping the bee to collect pollen was really great, too. Actually, I would say that it was awful. Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. 
But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! I'm so happy that we're friends and we're able to share so many experiences together. I feel the same way, with many more to come. That's right, Talalo. A cheer for the Hoppets! Hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> Something terrible happened last night. Well, I slept very well. Excuse me, Moo Moo, but we're talking about me, not you. Sorry, Rita, but since we're always talking about you, I thought that for once I could be the center of attention and we could talk about me. The two of you need to stop talking about yourselves for a change. It's always me this or me that. It's time you learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry, Alfred, but it's because I think that I'm important and because of that I and only I... Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway... Enough about me. What do you think of me? You'll never learn. I think I'll go for a walk. I can't stand any more of this. Good morning, Mr. Snail. Where are you going? Good morning. I'm on my way to the lake to look for some water. But the lake is far away. Do you have to travel that far every day? Yes, every day. I go back and forth to the lake. It takes a long time to get there and even longer to come back because I come home carrying water for my family. It's what I do all day. Go back and forth, same thing every day. So why don't you move your house closer to the lake? I'd love that, but my house is so big I can't move it. I can only move the little house that I always carry on Hello, my back. Hello, Mr. Snail. My name is Rita, and my friend Moo Moo and I are going to help you. Me? I mean, I... I can't because I have to... Don't worry, Mr. Snail. You'll see that we are going to help you. It's just a minor detail, Rita. And here I was thinking that you only thought about yourselves. Alfred, we are going to show you that we're really nice and that we don't only think about ourselves... We also really like helping others. Yeah, that's right. We help everyone. Rita, who needs our help? Mumu, Mr. Snail has an injured crawler and has to go to the hospital so that they can give him six shots. Huh? What? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Mr. Snail. It was just a joke. Let's go to your house and you'll see that everything will be just fine. Tell us where it is and we'll follow you. My house is right in the middle of a field of flowers. Let's get going. Mr. Snail, whenever you want, you can start moving. I've already been moving for a while. Rita, aren't we moving too slowly? At this rate, we won't even get there by tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? This snail is moving slower than a sleeping turtle. Mr. Snail, why don't you climb up onto my ear so we can move along a little faster? Sounds good to me, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of speed. Here we are. This is my home. Welcome. It's very pretty. Where's your family? My family is visiting their grandparents. They'll be back next week. They'll be so happy when they see that we've moved near the lake. So now we just have to get everything ready to go and then move the house to the lake. I'll put myself here in the middle, and you all decide what's the best way to take me. I'm not sure how we can do it. It seems easy, but we have to do it very carefully. Why don't we just put the house on top of a log, and Rita and I will carry it? What a great idea! Rita, you take that log on the ground. Moo Moo, you put the house on it. Excellent! 
Yes, now all you have to do is pick it up and we can go. Everything's perfect, thank you. From up here, I have a great view, and I love the speed. Don't worry, you're gonna see how soon you'll be in your new home. Here we are. Now, you have to decide where you want us to put your house. Some place that's near the water, but well protected. Let's see, a special place with a nice view and well protected. We could put it right behind that rock. That looks good to me. Uh. Oh. Oh. Thank you for everything. Rita, I'm so tired. I want you to carry me home. But Moo Moo, today we did such a good deed for Mr. Snail. Not exactly. You helped out Mr. Snail, but I helped you out. So, get ready, my friend, to carry me home on your back. I don't think so. All right, Moo Moo, I'll carry you, but you'll have to make a big jump to get on. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right now, one, two, three. Ah! Ow! Oh, you two, some things never change. <laughs>